So I'm just going to take this moment here, this moment that we have here, where there's like 300 people all hanging around in this magical world we've created, <laughs> just for a couple days. For those of you that have never heard of Starwater Elixir Bar before, this is a um, somewhat of a conceptual coffee ship that we've been sailing upon for about 10 years. Um, I just want to take this moment to thank my crew, um, my crew of over 60 people that have shown up to help build out this most massive, massive installation. <laughs> I want to thank Jessica Joy, my assistant manager, and Timpson, my site manager who helped us build all of this, Sammy on the stage, and I want to thank Max back there kicking ass on the coffee bar, my brother. <laughs> also a little shout out to Arise Music Festival. We are so grateful to have the opportunity to do this, to really bring this to life here. So just thank you all for being here with us. I love you guys. Uh, before I read my couple poems that I have to share with you tonight, um, I'm going to turn off my radio. Um, I just want to let you all know that we do, Starwater does gather every week in Boulder, Colorado at 303 Vodka. Um, we call it Starwater Wednesdays. We gather on Wednesdays. We do open mic poetry and live music and just meeting of the minds. Uh, it's a really, really amazing space out in the kind of warehouse east side of Boulder. Uh, we'd love to see more of you there if you live in the area. Also, I want to plug our, sh our next show that we have coming up is November 1st at Apex Movement in Boulder, Colorado. And the show is um, going to be a Halloween theme, and it's called Fairies and Phantoms. So again, we hope to see you guys out there. There's a lot of flyers around for this show, so pick one up. Okay, one more plug so that when I get into the poetry, I don't forget. I just want to call to attention my friend Max Toast, who's on our crew, who has been on this stage throughout the couple of days we've been here, created the most amazing publication that's filled with a compilation of poetry of many of the poets you've heard here and many of the poets in our community. Um, as we've said, we're very into stepping into speaking our truth. And this is an example of that. Speaking our truth is what it's all about. Together we will unfuck this world. And one more before I introduce some of my very dearest friends, Mikey and Raja, they're going to be performing here this year at Arise 2014, the very last act. This is my shout out to you guys, and this is my last poem I want to share. Thank you all for everything. Because we are each a jungle. Trick tipping through turbulent times, breaking backs and bricks and offensive rhymes off the edge of some syncopated situation. I'm pretty sure I got the beat, then you up and change it. So now skipping to refuse stagnance, drifting up and down the consequences of letting the patterns get a little out of hand, letting boredom bore a hole into my head till I could only run to feel that wind. The windy dreams only running could keep up with my impulses. I'd like to say, it's all been according to plan, but pain isn't something you can so easily predict. You gotta let that thing run its course, cause healing is like reckoning with the mortality of your own rememberings. If you want to straighten out, you gotta be willing to spin. And if you want to get out on that ledge, you gotta figure how to go within. So let it happen. Show up and own your place in it. Bring a piece, for the pieces are all but broken, and yet we, we are not. Spring a speaking spell upon the untapped well and allow yourself to be quelled. For creativity is not something that can ever run out, and poetry is like the tipping point beyond the great seesaw of what our eyes know is real. Sawing through seams and seeing through teases, we are here like a family of screams. <laughs> I wouldn't say I know the reason, but I'm along for this ride. I wouldn't say I got it all figured, but I know enough not to keep it inside. 